Certainly, Python has become a popular language for financial programming due to its simplicity, versatility, and the plethora of libraries available for data analysis, numerical computation, and machine learning. In this tutorial, we will cover the following topics that will give you a solid foundation in financial programming using Python. 1. Setting up your environment setting. 2. Data acquisition. 3. Data manipulation with Pandas. 4. Data visualization. Data visualization. 5. Financial calculations. 6. Time series analysis. 7. Portfolio management. 8. Backtesting strategies. 1. Setting up your environment to get started. You will need to set up your Python environment. It's recommended to use Anaconda as it simplifies package management and deployment. Data acquisition. We will use the eFinance library to fetch historical stock data. Data manipulation with Pandas. Pandas is an essential library for data manipulation and analysis. Let's perform some basic operations. Data visualization. We can visualize stock price movements using Matplotlib. Financial calculations. Let's perform some basic financial calculations such as calculating the average return and volatility. Time series analysis. We can analyze the stock data over time applying methods such as moving averages. Portfolio management lets create a simple portfolio of stocks and calculate its expected return and risk. Backtesting strategies. Lastly, let's implement a simple moving average crossover strategy. You learned how to set up your environment, fetch financial data, manipulate it with pandas, visualize results, perform financial calculations, Analyze time series data, manage a portfolio, and backtest a trading strategy. With these foundations, you can build more complex financial models and strategies. Always remember to thoroughly test any strategy using historical data before using it in real trading. Happy coding!